Hello and welcome to our French Revolution history video. Um, I'm going to be introducing you and kind of walking you through these things because some of them don't make a lot of sense, but whatever, it was just for fun, I guess you could say. So I will just be giving you little headers and kind of like brief explanations of what the event was in, his, in the history and I'll just kind of explain it to you and then show you the actual video, see what you guys like, kind of give you a little history lesson and just go from there. Our first video is on the death of Marat, Jean-Paul Marat, which he was executed, or not executed, he was killed um, in his bathtub when he was doing, you know, his little scrubby scrub and doing his whole thing or reading papers, whatever, whatever he does, whatever he likes to do in his bathtub. He was killed by Charlotte Corday, which was a mountaineer, which if, for those who didn't know, just to kind of give you a brief history lesson, uh, the French Republic was divided into two groups, dependent on the king's fate, and it was either uh, the Gryondans, Gridirons, Grundons, Gryondans, and the Mountaineers, which pretty much wanted the king to live and the king to die so Jean-Paul Marat just got killed in the bathtub because it was just it was getting way too intense so you can just look at the video and just you, you'll, you'll see you'll see what was that? Okay, so as you can see, the, it was a little dramatized, but it's history. Okay, so our next video is on the tennis court oath. No, it doesn't. It's not actually about a tennis court. Well, yes, it is. It just pretty much stated that uh, everybody in a group had to uh, meet in a nearby tennis court every day until this constitution was drafted for France, which can turn into some tennis playing or it can turn into some constitution drafting. So, so just check out our video and you'll see what happens. Constitution. Constitution. Oh no! Get my in. We're not actually playing tennis. We're drafting the Constitution. What? The Constitution, man. The draft. It was our oath to meet here every day until it was finished. I came to play some tennis. Well, you're at the wrong spot, my man. But you can stay. You we'll draft our meeting. Constitution. Thank you for honoring me. Still need a stretch. So, our first one should be the right to bear arms. And I don't mean one. a bear in your arms. I say we give three girls a bunch of guns and let them go to town. Oh, that's, well, you know, it can't get any worse than it is now. Jolly good. Jolly good. So, that's a solid one. And our next one will be... Well, we gotta get rid of the guillotine. There have been too many deaths. Too but many the guillotine deaths. is all... I mean, it's, it's like a movie, you know? It's like going there to see all the, the people die, but still. It's, it's, kind of... it's a movie. What's what? a movie? It's a movie. What? what is a movie? I don't know what's going on. Movie. You just said a movie. Where? Anyways, <laughs> getting back to our constitution. Um, so our second thought, uh, what about freedom? Do we need any freedom? No. Don't no. give him any freedom. No freedom. No freedom. No freedom. No freedom. Oh, freedom. 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 We should probably give him a little bit of freedom. Okay, that's solid. Solid, solid. Um, I, you know, I, I think we have to take another day. I think our meeting is over and... We'll come back for a second day of our constitutional draft at the tennis court. But I still want to play some tennis. Okay. Screw give your tennis. Ball. Screw give your tennis. Give me, give me I'll a ball. I'll be judged. Give me a ball. Give me a ball. Give me a ball. Uh, uh, yeah. I still need to get some stretches. Light on. Rifton. Well, nothing like some good old tennis, right? Right? No? Okay. Well, anyways, the next few videos that I'm going to show you is just pretty much going to take place of a little boy watching some TV and he sees a commercial for the execution of King Louis the 16th and Mary Antoinette which King Louis is right here and Mary Antoinette's right over here 
and I don't know why she looks like a squid, but anyways, security because they were convicted of national convention, and they just, the people of France didn't feel like that they were good leaders, they, the people got in the mobs, they raided their palace, started getting intense, but moving on, Rainy Terror is first of all the second part to our commercial video TV watching thing. But the Reign of Terror was um, pretty much created by Robespierre, or started by Robespierre. And the ironic part about all this is he created the Committee of Public Safety, and he was so scared that people were going to come after him and kill him that got himself killed. That it got himself killed. He came, became a victim of his own act. So anyways, just check out our videos and tell me what you think. Uh, Alright, time to relax and watch some TV. And we're back. Tonight we have a story on the Reign of Terror. The Reign of Terror was a period of violence during the French Revolution, for those who didn't know, that was incited by conflict between political, or between rival political factions, which pretty much means two parties, in other words. The two parties were the Girondins and the Jacobins. Their logic was mass executions of enemies of the revolution. The death toll ranged in the tens of thousands with 16,594 executed by a guillotine. 2,639 of those were in Paris. And to add to that, another 25,000 were executed all across France during that period of time. And that's the show! And the uh, Chiefs are still the worst team in the NFL and Lakers are taking the title. Good night. What's that? Oh, I'm looking forward to. Hear ye, hear ye. Come down this Sunday and see the beheading of our previous king, Louis the Sixteenth, and Mary Antoinette. <laughs> Why they're getting beheaded? Nobody knows. Word has it, national convention. But come check out the show. And on Sunday. Okay, so our next video is going to be on the execution of Robespierre, which, again, we can't for afford a guillotine, an actual guillotine in my backyard, so knife stabbing is going to have to do. But, anyways, we filmed the execution of Robespierre. So, Robespierre, again, was pretty much executed, like, like I was saying, created the uh, committee of Public Safety, started the Reign of Terror, yada yada yada, and then that pretty much led to his death. And then people just got tired of him slicing people's heads off with a little guillotine thing and just went, Okay, sir, you are going to die. So, just watch the video and you'll see a basic idea of what happened. Okay, so our final and last video is on the what Robespierre contributed to the uh, French Revolution, which he didn't contribute much, but he did a little. He created the uh, Committee of Public Safety, and he also he also started the Reign of Terror, which he also became a victim of later. Sad, it's a sad story. But anyways, you can you can just look to see what he contributed to the French Revolution, and we'll just go from there. This Monday at 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock on the History Channel, Robespierre Biography. Stay tuned for a sneak preview. Okay, as you can see, today we are here in the place de la Revolution where Robespierre was executed back in 1793. So come on. Come here. I have to show you something really, really interesting. That tree right there held the guillotine to which Robespierre was executed. Uh, come on, look closer, look closer, look closer. Yep, look closer. <laughs> As you can see, Robespierre's blood is still dripping down there. Some say he's Jesus, but that might not be true. 
still his blood. Now come inside, ladies and gentlemen, we'll show you where Rose Pierre was born. Okay, so for those who didn't know, Rose Pierre was famous for his contributions to the French Revolution, which can include making the Reign of Terror. But not only did he make it, he was also a victim of it. So in this room to your right is where something amazing happened back in 1758. Alright, get in closer. A little closer. Come here. Come here. Just a little closer. This right here is the amazing spot where Rose Pierre's mother gave birth to Rose Pierre back in 1758. Now, it may look a little modern because the house was sold a couple of times over the years and some financial problems came in and this and that, but technically the owner doesn't really know where he Go, 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 go! Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know it's not best quality, best effects, best whatever, but I just wanted you guys to learn some history out of this. I hope you guys did, and also Mr. Harry Mission taught you this, and if you're not writing notes, then shame on you. Well, anyways, I gotta get going, so I uh, hope you liked the video, and I will see you guys later.